So I'm going to show you how to do five different collar chokes using the same lapel grip uh, for all of them. As always, my lovely assistant is Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. So let's talk about the lapel that we're going to get to before we get into the actual chokes because it's super important. One of the things, if you've ever been doing a lapel choke and your hands like so tired afterwards, this might be helpful to you. So when we grab the lapel, I'm not going to just grab it like this. This could work. It definitely could. But the problem is if I hold it like this, I can really only get a strong grip with maybe one or two of my fingers and my thumb, and I can't utilize my whole hand. A way that you can use the lapel from here is we can flip this lapel up, basically take your thumb, push it into where the, the collar material meets the lapel, or excuse me, the collar and the gi material sort of meet, push that thumb in there and it'll flip it out. Now we can get four fingers into it and that allows us to use a strong four finger grip. Our whole hand can wrap around it much stronger and it won't get as tired as fast. Now let's look at the five chokes that we're going to do from this position. We're going to look from this side. I'm going to play from this side. So again, we're playing with our choking arm on top, right? So we begin and again, there's a lot of ways to get it. But again, a lot of you guys I'm sure get to this position. So we're going to get to the lapel. Now I'm not going to necessarily have it ultra deep. There will be a little slack in it that I'm going to need. Okay, and we're gonna begin to go for the chokes. First one, double lapel. Grab the bottom lapel here. I got the top lapel. I'm gonna pull in. Now what I'm gonna be doing with my wrist, this wrist flexes down, this wrist flexes up into his neck, and at the same time, I'm squeezing my elbow so I'm pushing the carotid into the carotid here, and I'm pushing into the shoulder here, and I'm gonna extend my hips and flex. Boom, right there. So again, one, two, flex, flex, extend, put in pressure. Now, from there, another option you can do, well, if for some reason, if he's fighting with his hands a lot, you can go in and get a hold. So with your underarm, that's under his, grab right at the knife hand, pin it to his body. Pull this arm back, and again, flex the wrist, and extend your hips, and you'll get the choke. The next one is the half Nelson choke. And I like this one done two different ways. One is we can go out, back, and around here, and extend. Or sometimes, if you're losing the position, he starts to go around, I can actually hit it as he like escapes. I've actually hit this a bunch of times in competition because one of the things about it is holding that top arm side can be difficult. Like, because a lot of times they can just start to, let's see over here, they can start to get their shoulders down pretty easily here. So a lot of times if I can set this up, they feel like they're doing something and they'll run right into the chip. That's the half Nelson chip. From there, we also have one where you can literally just sit up. So let's turn this way at him. Check this out. We've got this grip. Let's say if we can't get, we can't get a second grip or whatever, I'm gonna come up to my elbow, and all I'm gonna do is pull, 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 and then I'm flexing the wrist. And if you notice, what's the key? We're always flexing the wrist into it. Anytime you do a collar choke, you're always flexing the wrist one way or the other. Before we were doing this way, this time it's just this one pushing into the neck. Now the last one, a bow and arrow from this position. A lot of times you set your, you set your bow and arrows up from playing from the underarm side, like this where you reach. We're gonna play one from this. So let's say we're in position, and again, let's say you start to, you're, you start to lose the back. The person's getting the shoulders down. I'm gonna come up with them and get to sort of the side mount position. My knee's behind his back. I'm gonna push my foot into his armpit, grab the knee, and I'm gonna throw my leg around. I don't prefer the shin behind the neck, besides the fact that I'm not as flexible to do it. I like it for what I'm about to use it for now. He goes to defend his neck. I'm gonna take this leg, go over top, and I'm gonna pin it. So this way, he only really has one hand left to defend, and that's not gonna be enough to beat me in this grip. To finish this lapel, or the bone arrow choke, we pull our elbow in, arch our back, and pull. One more time on that one, just so you can see the details on it. We're trying to go for one of our other chokes. We start to lose it, he gets his shoulders down. I'm gonna naturally put my leg over top of this hip, drive up, go with him. From here, lean to the side, grab the knee, sit back, lock, lock, flex. All right, guys, that's just an example of five different chokes you can use with the same lapel. Uh, again, even if you don't necessarily want to do the chokes, use the tips that I showed you. Flip the lapel to get a stronger grip. Always, when you're doing a collar choke, whether it's the lapels, X chokes, anything, whenever you're using them, always can, uh, focus on the wrist motion at the end of the finish. And then again, think about this, where when you get a like, grip, especially if it's a good collar grip like this, that's a finishing grip. 
So a lot of times, like if one move doesn't work, I don't try to find a new move to use um, or like a new grip to use. I try to hang on to that same grip and try to figure out something else I can do with it besides letting go of it. Because again, if, you, if you're ever in position and you get behind the person and you've got that grip, that's a finishing grip. All you've got to do is find out one of the numerous options that you can get a hold of to finish. And if one doesn't work, there's usually one left for it or another one you can use. So anyway, hope that's helpful to some of you guys. I'm finished. Adam. Adam.